another day, another live viewing. Frank didn't have Eminem, the really carry for the end of the split. But they looked like the second best team in PCS for the beginning of the season. So besides beating them would be massive. Obviously that would mean DFM is automatically in stage 2. We already have Beyond in stage 2. Let's hope DFM joins them as well. And Frank is one of the teams, if not the only one, who is having two mid laners. We're gonna see who they start, but usually they are rotating them. Both Pretender and Jimmy Ann are in the main roster. It's not like they prefer one over another. Both of them usually are playing. For example, Pretender started against Antic and Jimmy Ann played in the second game. I would expect them to play against DFM as well, both of them. So without MNM, team basically played with both mid laners. One playing mid lane, one playing AD carry, and the team just plummeted. That's the reason they are in stage one. They definitely should be in stage two, just that last trick at the end to throw them off. It seems to be Pretender is the starting mid laner. MNM also there. I would say maybe Frank 2-1. We didn't have a three game series so far, but I would say this, this might be one. We are in draft now. Now the big question is, have Gizno met with the good luck pigeon today? Have they got a pigeon pooped this morning? That is the big question. I think that was the decider in last match. I don't have any information about potential pigeons involved today. That pigeon would be the difference maker, I'm pretty sure. Utapon has showed he is more than fine picking the smolder. I think he won every match on smolder so far. So I wouldn't necessarily be surprised seeing a smolder ban from Frank as an evolution. Senna is available as a potential counter. Or maybe DFM is gonna be the team. Okay, it's DFM who opts into the Senna. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Frank just picks up the smolder. I still think that smolder has that edge over Senna. But the Senna smolder matchup is not as bad as other matchups. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see the smolder. I really don't like teams playing in the smolder. The Senna matchup is maybe the most bearable one. Leading phase is not gonna be the most interesting bot side, but still at least it's not as horrible as some of the other counters that I've seen for smolder. Oh, oh, Alessandra! Alright, that's, that's gonna be interesting. That's a really interesting pick from Aria. I can see the idea of trying to freeze up Smolder. Not the spiciest draft you've ever seen. Is it gonna be the first time the Smolder loses in PCS playoffs? 5 0 so far. Not a single team had a response for the Smolder. I declare today is the day the Smolder loses. But obviously, Steel still has to get dragons. Arya still has to have good team fights on Alessandra. Yutapon still needs to have good positioning because last time at Worlds he played Senna, it was. It had some issues, as I would put it. But at least in this case, I can see the game plan. Like, I, I can see why they went for this. I can see how they're trying to defeat the Smolder. Arya has gotten a little bit of a gank. Yutapon is around to help, but Yutapon is being engaged on. That means Steel has to give away the dragon by going in. No level six just yet, but Arya arrives with his own. He has reached level six, and it seems to be who's gonna get the first one? Who's gonna get the first one? Ah, the first one goes to Gemini, but Yutapon gets his own kill. Diego getting the kill is absolutely not ideal. Still having to give up the dragon is definitely not good, but Yutapon getting the kill is, is fine. It's definitely better than, for example, in the V3 game. And the supports for getting the kills. It's definitely gonna help Yutapon just get to the power spec a tiny bit faster. They're immediately still going back to the dragon, so not a ton of time wasted. Could have been better if they got the dragon immediately, but it's still fine. I, I think it's still fine. And it seems like still only level 5. No 6 just yet, but there you go. There you go. Being on the red side, you know what's happening. One more, one more, one more. Oh, two more actually. The three more? はい、ちょっとダメージによってハップ。どうでしょう、タワーナグロを引きすぎたような形。お、お、お、what it was a tiny bit too aggressive. Alright, me and Oh, wait a second! Wait a second! Then right, just be aggressive! Just be aggressive! That's what I like to see! Yutapon gets the kill! Even if they're getting the 5 grubs, especially 6. Considering the smolder, considering the game state, getting the second drink is more important. And there's a smolder shut down! What happened? Oh, 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 can we get a replay? Wait, 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 wait. And now there's a team fight! What is happening? 
Oh my god, so many things to replay. I have no idea what's happening. We just literally got into here. So far, two kills, four... I've almost said the sword word. The Frank! The Franks! And oh no! They got the dragon. They got the dragon. They got three kills now. The observers missed so many things. But Frank got the dragon, which is not good. Frank got three kills, which is not good. But DFM got the shot down on Smother, which is good. Oh, nice. Okay, Smother has been caught a little. Ultimate used by Utapon, but it's gonna be horrible speaking of the kill. Meanwhile, obviously, another second dragon. That's how you should play. As Orb getting knocked up a tiny bit of mistake on the edge of the Tom can't knock up. And with the, the Gwen arriving. Kind of turning the fight and just being outnumbered at this point. Smother stack check at 14 minutes, 103. It's like a tiny bit slower maybe than what other pros are doing. Frank has their own dragon, so they have extra 5 minutes to play around with. Smother is not gonna have any problems getting this full stack before the fourth dragon. Even though I said that their wincon is not as narrow as with another comp, it does feel like that this is not gonna be enough. It does feel like Frank may win this fight, is still is able to get away. Arya using the ultimate on himself. But Rayfark is in Zonyas, but they can't just stay invincible for too long. Tomka is saving the Gwen. And it seems like Frank was able to survive for a tiny bit longer. They're gonna sacrifice Ray Farky. They survive for what? What are they playing for now? Losing the third dragon. That's gonna be Frank's second. I think their fight was not necessarily bad. They just like the damage. They just like the damage and here's a little bit of a spoiler. Later on it's gonna be even more of a problem. As soon as the executes are coming from the smolder, you're gonna like the damage even more. It definitely seems like teams are just baited to give in with the smolder because the screams. There is no other explanation. I refuse to believe that teams just don't see how smolder is strong. But it seems like team fight is inbound as having another stun. And Kaiving is being chunked down, but the others are here. Pretender! They're turning to Pretender! They're turning to Pretender who is being saved by Tom Kent. And DFM is going low. There are the executes. One and two. And three. That's just a triple though. That's gonna be a, almost a quadra. But triple. Get the Baron and the game is lost. Who would have guessed? Stacks coming. And DFM losing? Question mark. Wow. I've never seen this happen before. Just five more times. I don't think DFM is not really gonna take this loss as bad as V3. They're a much more veteran team, they've experienced losses before. And uh, maybe even V some team fights, but there comes the mama. And look at the stuff. Oh. Look at the stacks. Look at that, look at that. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Oh, there's just an end the game. Yeah, just get out. Who would have guessed? In a surprising fashion, Smother wins six times in a row. I have an idea. I don't I don't know what to do. If teams don't wanna ban the smolder, I'm gonna bring my own little monster. Now you might say that Nessie is not a dragon. That's debatable. I'm just gonna put Nessie here. Nessie Loch Ness monster. You're gonna be my ward against the smolder picks. By the way, this is something I did not know. Yahoo Taiwan is making interviews with players actually. They have a lot of written interviews after each match. That's why I have published the V Street interview after a very sad loss, but I think it's still pretty insightful. DFM and Frank also gonna get interviews. Make sure to check out the DFM interviews, probably gonna be published on the time you're seeing this video. Have they found the pigeon though? That's what we need to know. Emergency pigeon poop. That's what DFM needs. <sighs> Are they gonna get the smolder? Are they gonna finally give it up and be like, guys, we need this champion. Oh. Oh. Save me. Nasty, save me from the smolder. I'm just gonna see the same thing. Wait. Oh no. And this is the V. Oh, wait. Is the guys. Guys, wait, wait, guys, guys, uh, slow down, guys, slow down, slow down. Tully at least has more damage than Lissandra. No, 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 Nessie, what have you done? Surely for the seventh time we can actually beat someone there. They have a tiny bit more damage and actually the Renekton would make a ton of sense here. Having this little more early presence. So they're gonna go for win early game, finish the game in 25 minutes. Hasn't worked six times in a row. Is it gonna work for the seventh time? Either they win in 25 minutes, or well, it's a low bracket angle. It's really weird because Arya and Utapon are not gonna outscale the smolder. Utapon a little bit gonna get there. If his stacking is good enough and they can smash the lane, they can tiny bit delay the smolder threshold while Utapon is gonna get closer to his. But Utapon is never gonna truly outscale the smolder. It's more just like he's gonna have a little bit less of a handicap than other champions. 
、レファグがスキルを使ったのを見て、あっと、バーストダメージで、ファーストフラットいいじゃん。He definitely had a good game today, s a k o but his semis performance, especially, and his finals performance as well, to a degree, they have been bad. He has been struggling recently. I haven't really seen him shining up for multiple matches in a row. I think the ultimate kind of helped steal it. It was a more dangerous, but made sure they definitely can catch up to Gemini. <laughs> okay, a r i a d o is gonna get a solo kill, I think so. Yes. Alright. His second dragon inbound. a r i a teleported in for that. DFM needs the dragon stack in this time. Oh, nice engage from timing! Nice engage from timing into the m o b a But the f. Oh, um, it's so hard to not say the bad word, but say Frank instead. Sometimes I start saying the F and I'm like, which route should I go and I'm kind of butchering it. When I think F, I'm like, oh, I, can't, I can't go back to Frank. Frank, I think, was kind of too late. At this point, I'm just banking on Aria. I'm just banking on Aria and maybe the Stena 100 stacks, but I think it's gonna be Aria. If anyone is gonna be Aria who's carrying this game. Alright, the FM is finally rotating the top. Oh, this will be the first time they're actually ganking and immediately going for the four man gang. The Gragas has absolutely no chance escaping that one. Only question is who's going to get the kill. And the kill is gonna be for. No way. Okay, it's gonna get y u t a p o n but that was dangerous. But now in game two, I think Steel is really stepping up. I would not ever bet against this m o d e r I'm just saying the FM at least is doing everything they can. And if this still doesn't work, then I can be like, I told you, that's how you bend the dragon. And if they win, I really hope they're not gonna be like, we finally did it. Seventh time a charm. It's such a narrow window how you beat the smoother. And once again, you may have a 4000 gold lead, but I've seen 5000 not being enough either. You need more. You have four more minutes, but you need more. Okay, well played from DFM so far, but now comes the team fight, and I think Frank is in a better position for that. Oh, the charm misses on her! The charm misses on her, but there comes the barrel! Nice ultimate from Yuta Pond, but is it enough? Still, still going in! They're stunned. So far, no casualties. Both teams went super low. No one died. Let's get the dragon. Why teams like playing like this? Why are they like taking so much risk? 175 right now at 18 minutes. That's about the normal stacks. You see, with smaller, as you see, getting stacks up jungle camps constantly. If you're gonna see the full stack for the four dragon, definitely. As for Yutapon, he's also actually going around getting those souls. So nice team play from both teams, actually, playing around those stacks. So yeah, nice, nice job. I would love to see the Senna stacks as well. Even though, again, Senna is not getting to 100 for quite a while. You're not gonna get to 100, which is this magical number when you start critting. And they're not gonna get there in time as now. A team fight is breaking out, and I think interesting teleport coming in from Ray Farky in the middle of everyone. s e d u s h a v is not gonna hit anyone from Frank either. I think it's dangerous. Pretender is coming around. Pretender is coming around. Charm actually is not gonna hit anyone as far as I'm aware. But there's Harp going in for the hook. They're on two fronts. They're fighting on two fronts. And Smother! Smother stacks are there! Smoother stacks are there! Harp is the first to fall. Second is gonna be Ray Farki. Maybe. The FMD is nice damage, but do look at this. Guys, who would have guessed? Paint me surprised! They're gonna have a good chance in low bracket once again. It's not like a totally drover drover situation. It's just like a. Tiny bit over. Maybe the very last chance. There it is! Hooking! Nice hook from Harp! They're already down! Pretender is already down! But there comes. There comes the smolder! There comes the smolder! So much damage and executes! And there it is. There it is. Good lead doesn't matter. Kill score doesn't matter. Only one thing matters, and that is. The smaller stack number is above 225. Even if the Senna should have 100 stacks now, we, we don't see the stack number, but I'm fairly certain Senna is at 100 at this point. Even if the Talia has nice damage, you have to have some miracle team fight to not get executed. And let's see, Harp has been chunked down. Now there is a nice stun. Nice stun onto j i a n g One kill for steel. There it is. The damage is actually not that huge from Smolder. Smolder is dead. Smolder is dead. Smolder is dead. 
ティールがかなり奥目の位置ですが体力十分にあるぞ3層撃入ってッッッッッそのままッッッッッさあテレポートでタイルを立ってプリテンダーも取れそうなのデトレーションフォーカスミーです This is not game of thrones! Get out of my game! Seventh time the charm! Seventh time the charm! And sword for the seventh time! Actually loses in the PCS! Holy s**t! 勝利したのはデトネーションフォーカスミーとなりました Holy s**t! Please don't think this is a good game. I really hope the conclusion of this game is not gonna be Senna outcast mother because that's not true. They found the absolute perfect team fight after Senna getting hundreds. I, I assume she got hundred stacks. I haven't seen, but it seems like she was critting all the time. All the DFM members were lining up for the Senna ultimate as well. It was the best possible engage you could have asked for. It was close. They had like a, a 5 4000 gold lead and it was close. At least smother curse broken, two occurs broken. And to give a little bit of credit to myself, before the game even ended, I wrote in Discord, guys, trust me, we can definitely beat Smolder, the FM after giving Smolder his 7th win. Not to brag or anything, but the only force stronger than Smolder is my jinxing capabilities. And we're immediately in draft. We're immediately in draft. Maybe I shouldn't have screamed last game. <laughs> At the ending, I was screaming a little too much and I can definitely feel it on my throat. <laughs> Maybe the pigeon has arrived, actually. Maybe Gizmo went out, he just held out his hands, and like pigeons come at me. It was probably before the last team fight when the pigeon happened. A lot of peaks like the smolder and the Nautilus has been banned. A lot of peaks that we have seen in game one and two. And it seems like though Frank still opting for the Senna. Now I'm I'm curious what the FM response is gonna be as Varus has been taken off the board. Varus has been a very common response. But Lucian Milio is definitely inbound. Oh no, they're doing Lucian Nami again. Okay, I'm apparently Lucian Nami is back. We see Jimmy and so I haven't even really noticed. But then again, Costas are not really talking about this anymore. Frank has constantly been swapping these two mid laners. It's not even performance related. This is countless times now when they started with Pretender and for the last game they stopped in Jimian. Usually they have their own champion pool. Now all of them are just gonna play the Ari. But still, they just, it's just normal Frank thing. Oh no, oh the Poppy! I was just about to say, his famous Poppy for countless years, across many generations of DFM, Steel's Poppy has been prevalent. Harp has even memed about it countless times. Whenever he was tanking his teammates after victory, he was always using Poppy instead of Steel. That's how much Poppy is synonymous with Steel. So the dashes are still gonna be nullified by the Steel. Oh, by the Pop. Wait, I just did the reverse. <laughs> Basically, comfort picks all over the place. It's just a nice, well-balanced composition. And the Senna stacking, they have to stop that. You know, all steel is gonna go for a tiny bit of a steal. Oh, this is gonna be found out. Oh, he has talked about this exact strategy, I think, uh, in the semi-finals, maybe? He was talking about this exact pathing, trying to invade the jungler and best case scenario, gonna steal away some camps. Worst case scenario is just delaying the enemy jungler, which is still a good case scenario because then your opponent can just farm and get a little bit of pressure off him. So he talked about this exact thing a few weeks ago and how he likes to do that. It's a significantly slower game than last ones, but that's really good for my heart and my voice. I'm really liking that I can be a tiny bit more chill at least. Oh, 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 no. Harp and Arya. Someone is gonna die here, and that's likely gonna be Arya. The stun hits. Flash is not available. Too much stun. First blood goes to Jimian. Way too much CC. And they're straight gonna go for the grubs. Frank is gonna get six grubs from the looks of it. I don't think DFM really has taken any grubs. At least, grubs has not been their priority by any means. It's gonna help Frank a little to snowball, but I think... Oh, the f... F f fl flash into the wall? Wait, what, what just... Okay, there is a charm onto Ori. Ori gonna get a few tower damage. Ori survives. Ori survives and still has the Q. Yes. Meanwhile, oh, Ray Farky dies. Quite a few things happening on the map right now. So is it just this? Oh, that's just a dive. Right? Not much he could do. Yeah. They have now a 4,000 gold lead. There hasn't really been a team fight. That's purely laning, just better farming, better jungling. As we may see the first team fight, DFM is here in five man stack. Jimian is ready. 
Chimney is ready. For the flank. There is a nice statue shop. Nice statue that Kavit is not going there in time. Kavit is not going there in time. Arya has been found out, but Arya survives. Kavit climbing down. Can the FM turn it? It's a 4v5 for Frank. The FM is still sticking around. But they have to fight in so many fronts. They're surrounded by Frank. They have to choose a target. They have to choose a target. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? It's in a Gemini. It's not Gemini, but they're still so scattered around. They, they're gonna know where Jimmy Ani is. But there comes the hashtag. But Jiang. There comes the teleporter cell. They have to kill them. They have to kill them. The teleport is coming in. Jiang is dead. But so is Arya. And even still is charmed. Yes, I'm likely gonna get to safety. But in the end, in total, that's a 2 for 2 trade. It was a nice team fight from Frank. They made sure that DFM can't really have one target to focus on. If they have one target, they are just taking them down. But it seems like DFM is a tiny bit disconnected. But there it is. There's actually a fight. Brace out right now. Ottawa from oh Ottawa from actually pretty good. But there comes Oreo with the Weavers who into the team. That's not where you would want it to go. Messy mistake from Oreo and DFM is gonna be cleared off. Huge mistake from Oreo that might have just caused them the whole series. It was a nice engage from Steel. And the wall should have been nice, but why? <gasps> that was a charm! Wait a second, I'm sorry, Oreo! I'm so sorry! It was a charm! Frank has two mid laners. None of them are the main mid laner. Both of them are equal. And we see it right now. What a performance from Jimmy and on this Ari. Perfect charm. That might have just won them the game. They are uh, in stun. And it's stun. And Ray Farky is going down. He is not having a great tournament so far. He's not having a great few weeks. As the FM is fighting back their last ever chance, it's a one for one trade so far, but inhibitor is down. Finally, Jimmy M once again, the savior! The savior is back, but Ori actually kills Jimmy M, okay? Does there be a shotgun gold for him? Game is not ending just yet, but this is so over for the FM. After that Weaver's all, after Jimmy Yan's amazing charm, there is just nothing they can do. But actually now Jimmy Yan and Jung having the flank position. There it is, I'm ready. I'm ready for the last team fight. Nice the charm, nice ultimate from the Sejuani. And still even misses. Everything you wanted. Weaver's all coming in from Arya. And it's gonna get the Jax. As well as gonna get the kiving. It's a tiny, 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 tiny little victory for the FM, but this is the like two fishes in the whole sea. And oh my god, Harp! Messy mistake from Harp now! If they can get Jimmy and that may be a different story, but there's a stun from Steel! There's a stun! There we go! Jimmy is dead! Jimmy is dead, but they're rushing! They're rushing for the inhibitor! Can he go back? They're gonna get at least one inhibitor. They can't end. They obviously can't end from that, but they're gonna get at least one inhibitor. The DFM is arriving back. No Jimmy and though. No Jimmy and. Can the others carry? Oh god, there's no damage. There's just no damage from the FM. Okay, ultimate from Harp actually. Finds a lot of people with the Weaver's Wool as well. Okay, that's a nice fight from the FM, but can they win that one? There comes Jimmy and from the side. And also the chest is here! Oh no! The fight has immediately turned into the favor of Frank. And Vitalia down, I think this is it. Vitalia down, they're just gonna end the game. And it seems to be only a matter of seconds until Frank finally brings the Nexus. It should have been a 2-0 for Frank, but 2-1, still a formidable. Really rough game from the FM in this game 3. They had a good early game and after that just absolutely downhill. I do think the FM is gonna have the better chance in the lower bracket. Most likely they're gonna meet J Team. They have already beaten J Team twice, so I think it's fair to assume two more wins as well. If the FM beats J Team, then they're gonna get to the winners match. Then they face either DCG or Ground Zero, and they can beat either of them. So the FM still has a very, very good chance of making stage two. They're just making it a little bit harder for themselves. As always, see you in the next one, which is gonna be on. Saturday. Bye-bye.